Hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and I was a little bit harsh yesterday. What I mean is that when I had my Stormtika video, I called it the worst vehicle in all of War Thunder, and I was a bit harsh on it because, one, I was a bit stressed. I probably should not have been recording gameplay when I recorded the gameplay. I was a bit rushed on it, and again, just to be quite frank, I wasn't really in any position to be recording gameplay at that point in time. I just was too stressed out, and regrettably, it resulted in not the best gameplay I've ever done. So if you guys don't know, despite my name Tankenstein, I actually like to play air battles a little bit more. It's like 60-40, and as a result, I'm a little bit better when it comes to air battles. Now, the battles yesterday, the gameplay that I released for the Storm Tiga was not very good. I mean, it wasn't awful, but again, it wasn't really incredibly good. It did show off some of the weaknesses of the vehicle, namely that its rangefinder is a little bit iffy beyond around four or 500 meters. I actually have gotten better with the Storm Tiga since then and that's actually one of the reasons why I'm making this video because I want to show you guys that it's not as bad as I kind of made it out to be. It is an extremely fun vehicle. Now it's a meme vehicle. This is not a vehicle that is meant to grind through the tech tree. I mean it is a premium vehicle and of course you can use it for that but no one is expecting anybody to main the Storm Tiga. This is not going to be a tank that you base your lineup on. This is just going to be one of those meme tanks that you drive around, you have a good time and that's it. Everybody who gets it we'll have a great time in it you're gonna have a, a few tough matches getting used to it but i'll tell you guys ever since the gameplay a little bit earlier today ever since releasing it well i guess technically as of the releasing of this video here it will have been yesterday but as of yesterday's gameplay i wasn't really all that great at it but i spent a few hours later in the night and let me tell you guys i had a blast with the storm tiga now do i think it's a good vehicle no it has huge weak spots in the front i mean of course the biggest one being the huge huge mortar right in the front that has an exposed shell right there so you can get hit right there with even mg fire and it can blow up the entire tank just from hitting that spot right in the front with mg fire so it's a really huge weak spot and it's very very obvious you also have the lower glacis which isn't all too strong there are a few ports in the front like the mg port that's not all that strong the sides are huge i mean this is a huge tank you can just shoot right through it with ease with pretty much every vehicle that it will face and again it's range finder is a little bit iffy. I've tried using it a little bit more, even in test drive in a controlled environment. I've zoomed out, and bear in mind, I actually have an expert crew with a five rangefinder skill. So five rangefinder skill plus three for the expert, that's eight in total. The only thing I'm missing is ace, which would give me another two rangefinder skill, but that's not incredibly huge, especially when you're dealing with shells this big. So I've even taken this thing out in test drive mode, and I've shot it at the farthest off vehicles, and sometimes Sometimes it just doesn't hit, you know, I mean, this is not the best gun in the world. And again, the rangefinder, this thing will live and die on the rangefinder, and it's just not always going to be able to really get those long distance shots. Now, the short to medium range shots, that's where this thing shines, and it is a ton of fun. Unfortunately, and this is kind of going back to the gameplay yesterday, this is a patient player's tank. You really need to have patience with this vehicle because it has between a 40 and 52 second reload at max. 40 seconds if your crew is fully aced. And that's ridiculous. Plus, it's not the fastest vehicle, and it has very little turret traverse. So you have to more or less sit around and wait for your enemies to come near you, kind of like a spider. Now, I'm not a very patient person, which is part of the reason, again, why the gameplay yesterday was not all that great, and I take full responsibility for that. In fact, actually, that's one of the main reasons why I like air battles so much, because you are constantly moving forward. You are pretty much forced to move forward, because that's how engines work. Unless, of course, you use VTOL, but I guess that's like for only a few seconds really a VTOL operation in War Thunder. But regardless, getting back to the Storm Tiga, I find that this vehicle is incredibly fun. This is a vehicle that I feel like a lot of people are going to be very happy with once they grind it. It's one of those things that you're going to say, man, you had to be there. This is the 10th anniversary present and through the years, as fewer and fewer people are playing this game who were around for the 10th anniversary, so next year on the 11th anniversary, 12th, 13th, 14th, however long, you're going to have fewer and fewer people playing the 
Storm Tiga, and it will become more and more of a rarity. And honestly, guys, I mean, I am glad that I am grinding for this vehicle. It's not very good. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the absolute worst vehicle in War Thunder and 10 being the absolute best, I'd probably give this thing like a 3. It's on the worst side pretty solidly because it is just so damn weird. It has such a weird aiming system, and it has a huge drop between 0 meters and 200 meters because that's when more or less the rockets kick on for the mortar. It is just a ridiculously difficult vehicle to use at very close range and at very long range. But let me tell you guys, when you land a hit with this vehicle, it is arguably the most fun vehicle in all of War Thunder. I mean, you are pretty much lobbing a rocket-powered 250 kilogram bomb at the enemy. And to me, that is worth it. That is extremely worth it. It's 100% worth all the, the pain and frustration of the grind and also just having those matches where you die and you really can't do anything about it because again, this is a very limited tank and you're gonna die a lot with it. But in those matches where you do very well, I had a match where I had five kills with this. It is so incredibly satisfying. You can even get double kills with this vehicle in a single shot, which is just phenomenal. But again, it is very weak in some regards. I mean, heck, it's splash damage, which you would imagine would be pretty good with 135 kilograms of explosive filler in this thing it's not very consistent unfortunately and while you can get a double kill sometimes sometimes you can launch it right next to a vehicle or fairly close to a vehicle and you won't even get so much as a little bit of damage on the tracks so it's very very inconsistent i mean i hit a t44 once and you'd think it was a direct hit it hit the track mind you but it was a direct hit on the vehicle and all it did was destroy the track so it's a very very inconsistent thing but again when you land that hit and you get the kill my god is it so fun because it's just this 250 meter per second rocket shell that's just going towards the enemy like freddy or jason or something like that it's just walking towards the enemy and you know it's gonna die you just know it <laughs> you know i mean the chances of a direct hit and it will not be a kill are negligible i mean heck you're gonna be able to see this in top tier matches where people bring it and eventually once people get good enough with this vehicle which i'm actually getting pretty decent with this vehicle again i had a five kill match three kill match not too bad for a 42 second reload but you're gonna see people bringing this to top tier and having a lot of fun this is gonna be the new it tank for quite a while and i'm all for it i mean arguably you're gonna probably think that this vehicle is as good as the last match that you had with it and again you're not gonna really have a ton of amazingly good matches with this and even if you are the patient type you're gonna get found people are gonna know where you're camping people are gonna know where you're hiding they're gonna shoot you and a lot of the time especially if it's the lower glacis which is very large or especially Especially the barrel which people have been aiming for so much against me you'll die it's just how it is and you have to expect that you'll die a lot with this vehicle despite its incredibly heavy armor at the front i mean this thing weighs 65 tons in total but again it is extremely fun and you can't just base how much you like this vehicle on the last match that you had with it but really as much fun as you had as a whole with this vehicle and again i unfortunately based how much i like this vehicle based on the previous match or matches or how much stress i had earlier in the day when i was recording my original gameplay and i trashed it a little bit harder than i should now i do not really think that this is a good vehicle regardless Regardless, I think that my analysis was pretty spot on. It still sucks pretty bad. However, on the few matches where you really get going with this thing, when you hit a vehicle and maybe you get a double kill, where you just get like a crazy ridiculous shot, oh my gosh, this vehicle is the most satisfying thing to play in War Thunder, and I'm all for it. You know, this is just a very, very fun vehicle. It's not good at all. I mean, it's much worse than your average tank, but by golly, it is extremely fun, and uh, I'm sure you guys are going to have a ton of fun with it. It. But that said, that is all for this video. I do have a giveaway linked below if you guys want to participate. All you have to do is just click on the link. It goes to another video of mine. And then when you're at that video, all you have to do is like it, comment on that video with your in-game username and your preferred premium pack. So I am giving away three premium packs. And then you have to subscribe to my channel and you'll be all set. But either way, thanks again, guys. And I will see you all on the other side. Hope you guys enjoy your Storm Tiga. Take care, everyone.